the formidable robot. I dug deeper. I continued to dig deeper than I had ever before. I was buried in evidence so much. I had multiple paper cuts. I noticed the second disc, I hadn't watched it yet. I figured that was the part that was not clear about where Brian was. I took the second disc and inserted it into my PC. However, I was assaulted with a mixture of loud high and low beeps in what could be described as Morse code. I couldn't decode it. It was too rough for me or my translator Linus Loomish to decode. I had an idea. I opened the CD's contents and noticed both an MP4, an MP3, which was what auto played, and a weird file called AXPM42M. Windows couldn't recognize the file format, even deemed it as a virus. But I turned off my antivirus and opened the XPM42M file. It was the same exact situation with the last client, something about a corrupted picture with an exe file. I'm looking at you cheap ass exe pastas. A bunch of letters and numbers with one phrase, Brian. I took the XPM42M extension and turned it into a PNG file with reverse technology, and ended up with... Well, um, I think the reverse tech must have corrupted the image. But oh god, what the fuck? It's Peter Griffin, but he looked twisted. Yes, this was AI, but that's reverse tech, so cut me some damn slack. Oh my god, Peter looked like what happened when a zombie apocalypse took over. Peter had different pants but kept the white shirt. His mouth was twisted. His form looked way off. His face looked horrendous, and his arm was missing with blood splattered around his body. But what happened to Brian? The answer was staring at me. A zombie apocalypse. Peter was infected and probably turned Brian into a zombie. The brain scan. It must have been from the infection prior to everyone gone. It made sense now. Everyone was turned into zombies. As cliche as that sounds, that's what the conclusion landed me, even with the papers and evidence around me. I couldn't make a different conclusion only with, everyone were turned into zombies. I noticed a new folder on the desk. When I took it, it made sense. Yep, zombies. The city was in shambles with fire, destruction, and broken windows. Who was sitting in the alleyway? Brian the dog. I connected the pieces from the ARG. The papers. It came to the full story. The city of Kohat was infected with a virus after infected beer and food. Everyone turned into zombies, while the dogs and remaining survivors left with the humans except for Brian, who was eaten by the griffins. What a total letdown. The ARG stopped and I wanted to know more, even contacting the owner, who turned out to be dead due to a brain cancer back in 2009. We may never know what was left in Kohad, 